Got something super exciting. Should I even tell you? The necessary parts. The Advan Black Detachable Tour Pack. Looks so nice. First one in here. Sissy bar. Okay. This is a quality product. What's up Crooks Moto Crew? So, got something super exciting for this video today. We are opening something special from our friends at Advent Black. We have here, should I even tell you? We got two boxes right here. We got this box, we've already opened them because we needed to confirm that they contained the necessary parts, but it's something very, very sick. We are throwing it on this bike, which may give you a hint. But anyway, it's something super cool from our friends at Advan Black. If you guys haven't seen our Lowrider ST install video, go check that out. Advan Black sent us an amazing paint matched fairing for our Dyna, and it just completes the bike so much. That bike rips, it looks so good. And I mean, they just, they just killed it. It went together so well. But anyway, so we got, I'm gonna set you over here and we're gonna go ahead and start unboxing the goodies. We're gonna get this thing started. If you guys haven't already subscribed to Crooks Moto, please take the chance at the end of the video or something to help us grow the channel. Let's get unboxing, let's go. have probably seen what it is and probably know just from the time lapse, but here we go. So we have the Advan Black Detachable Tour Pack officially for this Road Glide ST. So we're pulling off the sissy bar, sissy bar is going, back luggage racks going, and we are officially making the bagger a bagger. We've got the king size tour pack here. Already got the holes already cut for the seat. As you see, we got the the king seat. I guess you could call this the queen seat. Super nice quality. This seat feels so nice. The leather feels really good. It feels stitched really well. It's got some heft to it. And then this amazing chrome quick release bracket here. Just looks so nice, so clean. And uh, yeah, I mean, everything, everything Advent Black so far has sent to us has been very well made and very quality. It just feels good. I mean, oh, that feels nice. Got the hinges back here. Let's go ahead and open this puppy up. Ooh, you look at that. Super nice all in here. So we got some additional goodies in here. All right, pull these guys out. This looks like a, a hardware kit. Yeah, some hardware and some keys for the uh, for this guy here. So you do gotta add you know, a new key to the key ring, but that's fine. That's all good. Don't need to worry about matching it. That's all good. And then we got the bracket here. I think this is the bottom bracket. Yeah, the little cord here. We went with, uh, you know, vivid black. It's got the rubber seal all around the outside here. Protect your stuff from the rain. Plastic feels really nice. Obviously the paint is, you know, vivid black. Exactly what we needed for this bike. The latching feels, dude, just really solid and secure. We went with the black latches. You can get these latches in chrome as well. And then we went with the chrome uh, quick mount. We're adding a bits and pieces of chrome to this bike anyway, so did want to add a little bit of chrome. But at this point, guys, we are gonna go ahead and get this stuff assembled for you. I'm so pumped, so ready. One thing that we do got to do is we got to get this existing hardware pulled off so we can at least test fit this bracket here and just kind of get a vibe of how it's all going to look. But first things first, let's get this seat mounted to this guy real quick and get it going. So on the back of the seat here, you have um, three little lock nuts that you got to take off here. So these three things, they line up with the holes that are ready to go back there. So basically need to line this up. Now it's to the top part here. So having it down 
you can line it up, but you can't really get in there to get the lock nuts on. So thinking I'm gonna have to kind of like prop this up just a little bit and slide this guy on and then be able to get kind of the first lock nut. So we're gonna try that. I got the first first one in here. Yeah, we're gonna try to get this back one. Yeah, uh, bottom one. So we kind of got it started on the top. Then we worked our way to get a nut down on the bottom, and then now we got this one poking through. So now that we got that going, we're gonna get the center one on there. We're just getting them on just a little bit because snug this guy down and then we'll have our seat on step one complete. All right, it is a size 13 socket. The nuts in here. We're just going to tighten these slow. Just start with uh, snugging them up a little bit. Good to go. As you can see, we're about that far down on pretty much most of them. And yeah, you can see here that uh, it's pretty much snug up to the tour pack. So yeah, dude, this thing feels super nice. It's on there, it's nice and secure, no slack. Now we got a bottom bracket to go ahead and install. This bottom bracket's gonna be on the bottom of the tour pack. That is then gonna be what attaches to that as well. So let's get that done. All right, guys, so we got the inner metal bracket, which goes inside there, that will then feed through and attach to the quick mount. So we're gonna figure out kind of how we can hold this up, throw the plate down in there, and then we gotta set it on top of that guy. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit and we're going to figure out a setup on how we can get this bottom bracket mounted so we can get this thing a rolling. All right, so we got the bracket just on this piece of wood facing this way, facing forward. These parts face this direction for your quick mount. What we're gonna do now is open this guy up, try to just secure this bottom plate. We're gonna set it on top, put this guy in, try to feed some of these bolts through. So let's give it a try. All right, so there's a little bit of alignment. The hardware that you got in the box that came in the tour pack, four bolts, four washers, four lock nuts. And one thing to note is you got this curved edge of this bottom plate. The curved part of the plate, similar to the curved part of the front, that's how you're gonna wanna do it. Basically from back here, you'll see the Advent Black logo like i said we're throwing the washers now on the bolts you know if you choose to put your seat on first like me well you got extra weight it might be easier to get the bottom part of this installed first all right they are on the tour pack now or they're dropped down into that plate i'm not saying this is the best way to do this uh so take it with a grain of salt this is just how i manage to ghetto rig it to make it work, but I'm gonna be very careful when I lift this guy up. As you see, I got him dropped in, got the plate facing the right direction, throw those nuts on, and I'm just gonna kinda like open it up and get in there with the, uh, the Allen, hold it down, just try to get these guys tightened up. So let's, uh, let's get it going. Doing it this method is pretty difficult. I've like had my arm underneath it, holding the ratchet and then holding it down here for the bolt. It's pretty difficult. So I would suggest, you know, maybe if you have a better way, maybe it's the only way, maybe flipping it on the side. Obviously if I had a buddy, it's like, if I had Josh here, you know, I would just have him hold this part up while I just got in there and, and got it good. But 
sometimes you're without your buddy and sometimes you still gotta get stuff done. So yeah, it just is what it is. These are almost tight. They're almost all the way. I just need to snug them down just a little bit more. So gonna snug them down and yeah. And then we'll get the existing stuff pulled off the bike. Let's go. We got it bolted down the rest of the way. That was a pain. I would highly suggest waiting for your homie to come home and help you out, Joshua Mist, <laughs> in the install of this. But you know, it's a super easy install. Literally seven bolts in this thing is together. You know, one here, one there, one there, and then the four in the bottom. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, bring the garage door open and then go ahead and pull this sissy bar off in the luggage rack and throw this on, might as well. It's good to go. Let's get this sissy bar off which may be a little more difficult. <laughs> All right, sissy bar is off. Sweet. Got it the rest of the way, okay. Sweet. All right, so we got it pulled off. Now, one thing I would consider if, because this is kind of where I'm at right now, I'm considering. So one thing about these is it's kind of hard to see with the glare here, but I would consider possibly replacing these. If you're like me, mine are really chunked up from just putting stuff on here and just the years of abuse. So something to consider. All right, we pulled the bike out. Don't mind it, it's super dirty right now. But we pulled the bike out. We're gonna go ahead and put the tour pack on. All right, Crooks Moto Crew. So we were able to get the clamp snapped on. Just needed a little extra force. You just had to get in there and just kind of force it in. Started uh, wiping down the bike. It was a lot dirtier before. But man, yeah, this looks amazing, man. Super comfy. I mean, just the alignment looks great. Pop this guy open. Dude, there's so much space in here. Everything looks amazing. Now, one thing I did notice, guys, be sure to take a look at it in the vid. I used the washers up here, but I didn't realize that in the bottom here where it goes onto the bracket is kind of this space, this uh, area. And this area is so you can adjust it forward to backward. You can kind of dial where your tour pack goes. But I would suggest putting the washers below the nuts on the bottom. Maybe even doubling it up and get another set of washers because I still think having washers up here is nice as well. So that's the one thing I would suggest doing. One thing also, because there's a little bit of sway between those four bolts on the mounting bracket, um, make sure that you got it kind of mounted straight. And another thing too is, like I said, you can bring it forward to backward. You can loosen those up and bring it back a little bit if maybe you want a little bit more space. But anyways, this has been the Advent Black Tour Pack installation on our 2022 Road Glide ST. Cannot thank Advent Black enough for sending us this Tour Pack to throw on this bike. I'm about to go take it on a really big trip uh, and I couldn't be more stoked to have a Tour Pack. This thing just looks Harley. This is a quality product. I really like the minimal branding on it other than just on the seat. I'm jealous that I don't get to sit on it. So. Anyways, guys, tour pack came out amazing. If you guys have made it this far in the video, please drop a like. Say what's up in the comments. Do you guys have a tour pack? Have the Harley one? Have you tried some of the other manufacturers? Let us know in the comments what you guys have tried and the feedback that you have for, for those other products or if you've tried the Advent Black one. If you like the content, be sure to subscribe. Stick around, watch some of the other videos. We got plenty more content coming for you guys. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get his reactions. What? Reactions. Oh, I haven't even really got to see it yet. I'm still in the car. Ooh. Man, that looks good. That van black coming through. Yeah. Mind if I open her? Yeah, dude, go for it. Oh, I didn't want to pull too hard. Oh, snap. 
Nice. Does it do anything for the riding? It honestly feels lighter than my sissy bar and existing luggage rack. It actually feels lighter. I wonder how it'll be once you get some... It feels like really balanced. Once you get some weight in here and then once you have the rack on and you get a couple things like how that'll do for like weight being back here. Yeah. Because normally your, your weight's probably another two feet forward. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks again, Advent Black. We appreciate you. Love you guys.